Hey, so are you a new wedding filmmaker and you're wondering what you should be doing during this coronavirus COVID-19 thing? Well, I'm wondering the same thing, so I'll tell you what I'm doing during this time. Hey guys, welcome back to Wedding Film Goals. This is a channel for new and aspiring wedding filmmakers where we discuss the trials, tribulations, and issues that go on with a new wedding film business. So if that's what you're into, then definitely subscribe to this channel because we like to discuss uh, gear, tips, business tips, and other things as we are growing this business together. Okay, so the coronavirus, COVID-19, has you stuck in the house for the last month, month and a half, depending on where you live. In New York City, we've been on lockdown for about a month and three weeks or so, more, more or less, depending on what part of New York you're in. Uh, and many other parts of the country probably have similar timelines. As for right now, I have not much going on except you know some potential second shooter things. And so what, what am I getting myself into? And so I was listening to the podcast by Taylor Petrinovich. I don't know if you guys follow her. Um, she runs the podcast called Level Up Your Wedding Business. You can find it on any of the wedding, uh, any, any podcast provider you can find her. Um, so one of the things that she was talking about was just sharpening your skills. We hear that a lot, sharpening your skills. And so what does that mean? Uh, and so one of the things that I have been doing is just practicing shooting around my house. And I just recently got a new camera. So now I have the Sony a7 III as well as the Sony a6400 and I've been kind of playing with matching those color profiles, the picture profiles and making sure that they match up correctly. So when it, you know, when I'm using them uh, together in tandem that they can produce the same image to start from, right? So I can color correct and color grade, color grade with, with the least amount of problems. So just, you know, practicing getting my camera stuff together uh, my, my picture profiles together, making sure I understand all my buttons. And of course, shooting around my house. I'm sure you've heard that doing B-roll challenges and other things inside the house. But I would say that the thing that I have been doing most is education, right? So you've probably heard that education is the most important thing. And now that you have a ton of time to spend in your house, um, I'm going to share with you some of the resources that I've really been diving into um, you know, in the past month or so. And this is something that Taylor Petrinovich talks about because she, she discusses um, how oftentimes we buy a course and we watch, you know, maybe a quarter of it. You, you, the first day you get it, you watch maybe an hour or two or three hours. You binge watch as much as you can. And then after that, you watch a little bit more and maybe you kind of drop off. And so what she was talking about is now that you have all this time, maybe you should spend it kind of catching up on those courses that you never quite finished, maybe re-watching them from start to finish, really digesting the program um, you know, as a whole instead of in these little pieces. So I've basically committed myself to, uh, to, to watching um, some, some type of education one hour a day. So I wanna share some of the things that I've been watching. So one of the courses that I wanna talk about is probably, I think, the first course that I've ever watched, and it was not too long ago. It's by Ray Roman, and it is the Creative Live course from maybe seven years ago, and, or maybe eight years ago. And so you might be thinking, well, why would I watch a course from eight years ago? And I'll say this, um, even though the cameras from eight years ago are older and the, uh, the technology was different then, Ray Roman in this course, which is very affordably priced, and maybe if you go on Creative Life now, they have some discounts. I'm definitely going to link the course, and I have no affiliation, guys, to any of these courses that I'm, uh, any of the courses that I'm show, uh, you know, sharing with you, I'm just giving you my opinion. I have no connection to them, but I, I will link it in the in the description. But Ray Roman's um, wedding cinematography course is excellent. He is very personable. The course is, I think, 12 hours long. It's just a ton of material where he walks you through everything from the business side to shooting to editing and all of the things related to a wedding videography wedding videography business. Uh, my friend Danny Wu, who's another wedding videographer, 
uh, turned me on to this and it was such an affordable price and such a great value because you get to see uh, although it's shot in the studio, you get to see, you get a good feel for what he's thinking, how he's shooting prep, how he's shooting grooms and brides and the reception and all the things, he, he covers everything. And it's a pretty extensive course for a beginner. So definitely spending some time kind of catching up on that old Ray Roman course. He has a new one out. It's a little bit more expensive. I think it's 300, but the old one is still a very good course. So another course that I've been spending a lot of time in is the full-time filmmaker Jake Weisler wedding course, which is I think about $197, so 200 bucks. And I think it's, it's very similar to Ray Romans. It's more modern, it's more up to date. They're using cameras that are, uh, you know, a year or two old from 2020. We kind of just started 2020. Um, but, um, you know, Jake has, uh, you know, Jake has a very, you know, a, a clean and neat way of describing things. Uh, I think the course is great. Um, incidentally, and I think it's really affordable price. Um, I was also gifted the full course of the Parker Walbeck full-time filmmaker, which I think is about $750, maybe $799 or something like that. Now that's a very expensive course. You know, not many people have a ton of money right now, but if you're able to watch the entire course from Parker Wolbeck, which includes the wedding course, it's definitely one of the more valuable courses that I have watched or even heard of. He discusses so many different things from Premiere Pro to Final Cut Pro to lens choices, and not just for weddings, but he begins to talk about um, you know, how to shoot music videos, how to shoot real estate videos, the business of video making in general, and really has a, a wide breadth of information uh, on all of these different facets that can all add value to your wedding film business if you're just learning. So Rob Adams is a well-known uh, wedding filmmaker who's been doing it for a very long time. and. Rob Adams has a wedding film editing course. It's like a editing 101 course that he offers on Vimeo. It's for cost. I think it's $99, but if you go through the how to film weddings podcast, I think you still might be able to get a 50% discount if you use the how to films wedding, how to film weddings discount or a promo code or something. But even at $100 or $99, uh, Rob Adams has, if you use Final Cut Pro, which I do, Rob Adams has a very clear uh, and easy way to um, begin to ingest the footage, to kind of uh, organize it. Uh, Final Cut Pro is really good at organizing footage, uh, creating keywords and making it real easy to, to sync your audio with your video and create a timeline that's very usable. He lays out a system that's easily followed uh, and that you can kind of, uh, it's easily followed with room for improvisation, right? You don't have to do exactly what he does, but he lays out great groundwork, a great basement on which to build your house. I know that Matt Johnson has a wedding film editing course where he uses the analogy of building the house. And maybe that's what was in my mind um, subconsciously uh, because I'm going to talk about um, his course next. So while what I'll say about Matt Johnson, which I'm sure you guys are well aware of, he has a huge channel here on YouTube. Uh, he, he is a premiere guy, right? And so I edit on Final Cut Pro. Um, and so while I have not seen his, you know, his, his film course, his, his course on Premiere, uh, during this COVID-19, he is offering courses at the Academy of Storytellers. And so he's offering free courses. I, I should really emphasize that. And so you get one course per month. So I think maybe I didn't get the one for March, but I did get the one for April. I'm looking forward to the one in May. And so the one in April, he basically does a job shadow sort of thing where you're with him in the car ride going to the wedding and he's discussing all his thoughts about the couple, how they got their, you know, how they got the job, their organization, their pre-production, so to speak. And then he's at the wedding and he's talking about his ideas of why he's shooting, right? So you're kind of following along with him at the wedding. And then afterwards he has a pretty long discussion of like 
what he's doing after the wedding. So again, as a new wedding filmmaker, this is a free resource to kind of ride along with one of the country's best wedding filmmakers and hear his thought process, hear his, his wife's thought process. Okay, so the last course that I want to bring up is really, it's a course that's specific to my camera. Uh, it's by a guy named Caleb and his YouTube channel is DSLR Shooter. You may have come across his videos if you're looking at different cameras or different monitors, just different filmmaking gear in general. He has something called the Video Shooter Academy. And so when I first got my A7 III from Sony, I was looking around uh, on YouTube and there were a bunch of different people giving different advice on how to set it up, what to do with it, uh, what settings to, to, to implement, how to customize the buttons and everything. The menu is super complicated, right? Um, but, but Caleb, has a course, I think it's about $80 for the a7 III. And in this course, he describes from top to bottom, every page menu, every single nook and cranny of this camera. Uh, so I know where to look for everything. I can find everything and learn anything I need about the specific camera instead of hunting for it. So while you may not have the Sony a7 III or even a Sony at all, he covers a lot of the main brands. He covers Canon, he covers uh, um, Panasonic. He covers all of the major brands of all the, the relatively newer cameras coming out. And he does a full guide, a video guide on, again, from menu to best settings, to picture profiles, to advanced settings, to basic settings, to button customization. So, you know, I think, you know, if you're a new wedding filmmaker and you have a relatively new camera that you may not know every single button, you may not know every single capability of the camera that you have in your hands, or even if it's an older camera, he, you might want to go over to his, uh, to his site and check out if he's got a course uh, on this camera. I think they're very affordable and Caleb, again, teaches in a very calm and very uh, scientific way, but he kind of puts it in a very layman's term uh, style. Uh, and it, it just feels like there's like he's your buddy and he's just sharing with you everything that he knows about that given camera. At least that's how I felt when I took, when I took this course. Um, so again, like Taylor Petrinovich says in that level, level up your wedding business, Right, I've, I've watched bits and pieces of many of these courses. And so what I'm doing now is I'm completing the courses. I'm finishing everything. I am now implementing some of the things that they talk about in the business side of a certain course, um, in the DSLR Shooter Academy. Um, I'm now you know, testing footage and messing with different picture profiles and experimenting. So I'm actually implementing, you know, when, when the world was moving fast paced, I would kind of watch it a little bit in the car, I'd kind of listen to it in the car, or I'd listen to it in the shower, or kind of have it playing while I'm eating breakfast. And now I'm spending some dedicated time sitting with my camera in my hand or with the edit, you know, the editing uh, software up as I'm working with, you know, with, I, I'll use two screens and, um, so I'm really implementing a lot of the things and spending time digesting all this, all this, all this education. So I think that's something that, uh, as a new wedding filmmaker, you should definitely get into because, um, it's, it's fun to learn. At least I'm, I'm having fun learning and I'm, um, even though I had been watching courses a lot during this time of, uh, staying at home, I, you know, I'm not commuting, I have more time and I'm able to kind of gather my thoughts and really implement some of the things that I've been seeing. So if you got value from this video, please give me a like and subscribe if you're a new wedding filmmaker and you enjoy getting into the conversation. And if you have any free or cheap, low cost, super valuable resources that I missed that, that you know of, that you're aware of, I encourage you to drop them in the comment section below. I'd love to interact with you there. So until the next video, my name is Jay and I'm out.